Welcome, my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Tarot and Oracle card forecast for this week. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please be sure when you do subscribe to click that little bell button and make it ring and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings go out for you to view. And also when I choose to go live and give out free card messages and spirit messages. As you know, this is strictly a general collective reading and that means that not every single card or the energy that they carry may resonate with every single one of you. So take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe for others. If you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any personal questions then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. But all that information is posted below this video. So my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, please view this video with an open mind. You have the mindset and free will to create the life you desire and the direction you wish to go on this personal journey. So let's get on with your reading. Welcome my beautiful Libras. Here is your tarot and oracle card forecast for this week. Taking a quick look at this, there seems to be a lot of challenges here. Uh, you know, especially particularly coming in behind you in the past, you may have had to deal with a younger person here. They could have been a water sign. Maybe not, maybe so. If they were, they would have been a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Uh, and they tended to, uh, you know, come into your life as a distraction. They tend to be distracting. It could be somebody that's coming in with a just, just that came in or they came in behind as a distraction for you in love, attention, affection. Uh, you might take a look at this situation and say, no, not for me. When pigs can fly, yeah, I would consider allowing this energy into my life. Uh, they could be coming in, uh, you know, with an apology. They could be coming in with affection, attention, respect, or um, you know, gratitude for something as well. Male or female, this page, and as all pages are, tend to be a little bit, uh, they act younger, they're a bit immature, they may look younger than they really are. But this one could bring you happiness or a challenge. You, you know, you have looked at a situation here where you felt as though you couldn't repair the past. It was like you were crying over spilt milk. It's done. It's over. There really isn't much you can do here to uh, repair this situation, but look forward to a new uh, opportunity and new doors opening to you. It, it could have had to do with anything. It could have had to do with you know, feeling as though you couldn't get over the lack and loss of a job or a friendship or a, a partnership of some sort. Because the, the, the cups refer to emotional signs. And maybe this was a feeling that you had or some energy with this young page. You, you get up in your head, the two of swords says you need to put down the swords and not go into battle so much. Uh, you need a sparring partner to do that. And if you remove the blindfolds, that won't be necessary. There tends to be a decision or there was a decision that you had to make. And perhaps it was over this young person uh, that you had that you chose to make a decision over. And you're 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 still feeling like you're crying over spilt milk because of that choice that you made. However, it was a decision that that was hard for you to make. But once you saw the light, once you were able to open your eyes to see the picture in clarity, you made that decision. And now, you know, you need to realize that it's over and done with and to move forward. In the now position, it looks pretty good. I mean, you may have some deception here. There may be someone that you need to keep your eyes open for. They may be deceiving you. They may have ulterior motives. Uh, you know, be careful. Uh, this is usually the card of deception. Somebody's sneaking around behind your back. So keep things under lock and key or close to your chest that you're afraid. That, and it could be this page here, this young person that you need to protect yourself from. Also, you know, be careful what you do. You don't want to look over your shoulder and say, geez, I wish I hadn't done that or I wish I had have done this. 
you're all over energy is beautiful though libra this is the wheel of fortune and this is you being karmically sent wonderful positive energy that you're going to be able to move forward uh, actually not the wheel of fortune this is this is the world card i'm reading it upside yeah it is the wheel sorry and it reminds me of the of the world but the world is one circle so anyway um like i say i'm reading these upside down so this is telling me that karmically and universally you're being sent some beautiful new energy that's going to help you grow and expand some of you might be contemplating uh you know uh taking a risk doing something out of the norm and this is you know the energy saying don't be afraid stand in your stand in your positive confidence and move forward towards your goals because I think here with the Queen of Swords, you're going to be cutting loose. You're going to be breaking bonds and cutting cords and removing things that no longer of a use or service to you. Uh, cleaning house could be the energy of people around you that you can't grow with anymore and expand and move forward in a happy and productive, successful direction. You may be getting rid of this youth. Okay, you may be stepping up and saying, hey, you know, uh, there I've got to set up boundaries. I'm going solo. I need to be on my own or live on my own. Uh, but this is you moving to the next part of your journey here and standing in your confidence and realizing that no matter where you're going, because she looks hesitant, like she's not 100% sure. She's sure she knows she wants to be independent and go forward. And she's got rid of things that don't serve her anymore. But it's a new journey to her. And she's still contemplating how it's going to be and, and exactly where she's going to be. Beautiful outcome here with these cards here i mean you're taking your time the page that or the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight on the zodiac and you need to realize that you need to take your time uh, and process something make a de making a detailed plan and it might have to do with you know doing a to-do list it might have to do with a priority list uh, writing down things that you need to do so that in sequence so that you can tick them off as you go along keeping yourself in balance and alignment but you will see progress come you will see completion come you will see uh, you know you can move towards your goals if you take your time don't go charging in too quickly Beautiful card, the King of Pentacles. He is the Midas Touch King, no matter what he puts his hands to when it comes to, uh, you know, happiness, fulfillment, abundance, or money, he, he turns it to gold. Uh, he's very calm, cool, collected. This could be somebody around you uh, that you know that is in business. You might be tapping into them because it usually has to do with business uh, and money and institutions like that. It could be, an, um, you know, this person could be, someone coming into you uh, that is grounded and, and you know, ha is going to be able to help you with something here. Could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn energy. Someone that you can lean into. Uh, step into your confidence. Know that the financial status that you're in, the material part of your week and your life is going to improve. This is gorgeous. This is victory. Six of wands after hard work, effort, struggle, and whatever you've been investing your time, blood, sweat, and tears into. You're now able to put your hands up and say, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So you've accomplished something. You've moved on. You've completed something. And now you're ready to step forward and go into the next stage, the next phase uh, that you need to go towards. So you've accomplished something here beautiful. Like I say, this is the victory card fabulous so let's see what we're going to do here for clarification you know the wheel of fortune being karmically sent beautiful juju being able to move forward uh you know this is interesting because the worst is over here this is your gift coming in saying the wheel of fortune has landed on you things are going to improve the ten of swords means betrayal felt like you were held down stabbed in the back uh, you were hurt. You couldn't get up. You just felt totally defeated. And, you know, this could be where you were crying over spilt milk as well. But this is over now. You're able to move forward in a positive new direction. And you've done, you're have you doing the things that you need to do to bring this success into you. Being able to realize that finally now you've healed through this. You've got through this. You can get up. You can move on. And the worst is over. Uh, nothing but good karma coming into you at this time. You may have locked horns with somebody here when you had to make a decision. And I had said that. It might have been uh, determined around a youth, a young person, or somebody who is uh, looks younger, acts younger, is younger, or is a bit immature. And you had to make a choice. And maybe it was over a child of your own. 
Uh, you know, it could have been that. It could have been um, someone who you have love for on a romantic uh, level as well. <clears throat> as well. So, um, you know, this is you seeing a picture in complete clarity, removing the blinders, and then realizing you had to make a calculated decision that was determined around this person that you had locked horns with. And as long as you do keep your balance and see the picture in clarity, you'll realize how to make the right choice. You and look what lands here, the lovers on top of it. And the lovers used to be called the 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 decision card. And this is making decisions and choices that is usually determined around another person. But it also means, you know, here it lands on this, uh, you know, locking horns with somebody and then having to make a decision. Some of you, it might be an, a legal uh, action that you had to take. Maybe you're dealing in courts with, uh, you know, settlements and things like that, disbursements of funds and custody suits and whatever, or business property disbursements and 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 that. But the lovers is also could be your ex ex partner here that you're struggling with at right now. But it also for others could be somebody new coming in or your love relationship going to the next level or the resurgence of your romantic love that you have. Uh, but major decisions are going to be made that is determined around one of you or both of you. Again, crying over spilt milk. Uh, what's done is done. Let the past go. Uh, you know, we can't change history, so we can only try to move forward in a positive direction and know that there'll be more cups to fill. There's more fish in the sea, basically, and you will heal and get over this. So keep your options open. You've got the five of wands on top of this, and, you know, you could be worried about a situation where you find you keep struggling with it. You keep thinking about it. You can't let it go. Um, or you could be legally, uh, literally having to defend yourself or uh, prove yourself. And it could be with people, your peers, your friends, your family, somebody. And, uh, or somebody keeps poking you with a stick, antagonizing you. Remember, they need a sparring partner. And if you don't get involved, they can't fight by themselves. Keep that in mind. Again, you know, as I was saying, coming in behind you could be past tense or you could, it could just be you're still dealing with this, this youth. Uh, you know, could be, as I said, coming in with attention, affection. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, they're, they're needy, they need you, or they come in with their hand in, uh, in love. This could be a beautiful distraction for some of you. For others, you might say, uh-uh, not going to happen. Or they bring, um, they bring a challenge in. Uh, you know, pages are young and immature, and with them can come challenges, right? They, they don't all, they're not always mature enough to be articulate. The Queen of Swords, twice next to the Queen of Swords, yes. So you definitely are setting up boundaries. You're laying down the rules here. Uh, you're cutting out what no longer serves you, and, and, and uh, <clears throat> you're setting up boundaries. You're removing anything that isn't going to serve you. So this could have, as I said, this could have, you know, been uh, determined around the energy of this younger person that you've realized you're going to cut the cords with or you're just going to, you know, give them their walking papers and say, you know, I need to be on my own. I'm going on my own journey. I don't need this drama. That could be for some of you. Now, the, the energy could have been them sneaking around. Maybe they were sneaking around behind your back and not and, and deceiving you. Uh, this is the card that says, be careful. Keep things close to your chest, as I said, and keep things under lock and key. You don't want to be made privy to everybody around. So <clears throat> keeping your privacy and, you know, also they get caught at the end of the day, okay? Because, you know, you can't constantly be uh, doing these things and not finally get caught. Look at the moon illuminating on them. That's you seeing the light and going, aha, now I know what was going on. Let's see what we have on top of that, the hangman. So this, you know, this is feeling like you're in limbo. <clears throat> you know, this is a pause state of action. This is, you know, uh, not moving forward at great speed. And, you know, it did come in next to the Knight of Pentacles, who's the slowest moving knight. So maybe this is still taking time to deal with, to get through. Uh, also, this may have, um, you know, this may be you feeling as though you can't move forward. You kind of feel stuck in a situation. But know that when, you know, you can, because while you're there, you're, Usually this is depicted with a lot of yellow around the crown of this of the individual hanging because this is you thinking about a situation and then accumulating all the the assets and all the 
um, resources that you can to make a situation work out. Okay, and when you get off this hangman mode, which you can at any time, you're going to hit the ground running and going towards that. The power of your confidence, stepping up into this power again of this queen of swords, cutting through any red tape, not taking any bull guff, uh, you know, um, and, you know, going on your own journey now independently, uh, removing anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Now, some of you could just be as simple as cleaning house, literally getting rid of, you know, furniture and things and renovating and the time that we have had to spend in our homes, we look around at everything we have and often it is everything in, uh, in excess that it's time we clean house. But she's going on a journey here and I think most of you are doing that as well. Again, the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles twice. So wherever you're going, you're going to have the finances and funds to do this. You may be uh, dealing with banks, organizations, you know, a lending uh, or the lending of money or the, the paying of debt. But I do think that you're going to see that your finances are going to be okay. You're going to be happy. I mean, he puts his hands to anything and makes it, you know, turns it to gold. He's a Midas touch. So if there's any offers or opportunities coming towards you where you can go in this new direction, take it. Stand up for yourself and take it, okay? Uh, and, you know, this is about being confident and moving towards your goals and any offers and opportunities coming into you the, and doors opening for you. The, the, this, again, as I said, your outcome cards are great because this is the, the page of pentacles and he, as I said, you may be making a calculated plan of what it is you want to do and where you want to go, okay? Taking your time, don't rush in because he's the slowest moving knight on the zodiac. He doesn't go charging in and then have to put the brakes on and pull back on the horse to stop it. Uh, this is him walking ahead. His steed is, you know, jaunting along behind him and he's planning, he's thinking, he's calculating. You've got the four of pentacles. And this is you hanging on maybe to something in the past or holding on too tightly. This could also be the, uh, the um, you know, how you spend your money and how you save your money, okay, and the extremes of that. Or how much energy you give to everybody else and how much, or how much energy you don't put out there. So what I'm saying is you need to keep your options open here with the Four of Pentacles. Realize that you may have to do things differently. You may be doing your job differently. You may have a new job that's something you didn't know about uh, that you may never have thought you would have uh, participated in or wanted to. Now you need to keep your options open. This says don't be rigid, don't be stubborn and also be open to the energy around you and people coming in as well. You could be giving too much of your time and people pleasing. It's time for you to realize that as with this queen, you clear out, you set up boundaries, okay? Uh, or some of you may be isolating and, and hermitizing yourself too much. And enjoy the fruits of your labor now. As we all know, life is getting short. And we need to enjoy all that we've worked hard for now. Not for the future, now. Again, twice the King of Pentacles, a Midas Touch card. Uh, you know, this is a card that says, like I said, step up into any new offers and opportunities and doors opening for you to go in a new direction towards prosperity and do it with confidence because you can't go wrong. You won't make a bad mistake. You won't make a bad decision. The seven of rods. Rods. This is, you know, I call this the wounded warrior. This is the one that says, you know, you feel as though you've been beat up, pushed, or, you know, dragged through the ringer. Uh, but you stood fast, you stood up for yourself, and you're still going forward in a positive direction. And that's part of, of, of you, uh, Libra, you're resilient, um, and you bounce back, and you know, you don't let yourself get defeated. You just tweak things and go in a new direction. Beautiful. And at the end of the day, like I said, victory after hard work, effort, and struggle. Uh, you know, you're, you're, it's you saying, oh, ta-da, finally, thank you, God. Uh, and it's the end of something that you've completed successfully. It was a great achievement. You're getting recognition for it, either from your peers or from the people you work with, but you're definitely getting recognition for something good and something that you worked hard for. So it's time now to walk through that next door and go towards and plan your next adventure. On that, you have the Knight of Rods. Something quick may be coming in towards you, an offer, an opportunity, or news. You need to act on it right away. This could have to do with signing of contracts 
our partnerships and you need to be careful and aware of that because he comes in very quickly this particular and and it refers to something energy uh you know you could be receiving something coming into you that you have to sign or you have to you know work on and uh, you can't procrastinate okay you need to be careful but you need to act on it it's going to come in suddenly your first energy card is you know from the chakra deck and it is the rejection card now i don't want you to feel bad about this okay because this particular card says you know uh you know you no longer need to prove yourself okay this is about understanding who you are and what you have created okay and choose wisely so this means that you know you may have had these feelings of rejection in the past but now you don't have to worry about it. You're moving forward in a new direction. And you know, other people's opinions of us is really none of our business and we can't take them personally to heart, okay? They say what they do, they say what they say and they do what they do because they are their issues and sometimes they're misdirected towards us. So uh, this, you know, this, this card of rejection is actually, you know, um, you know, a, a card that says, you know, you don't need to feel this way anymore. Okay. So, and, and knowing that you won't be used again, maybe that, you know, you felt at the energy or a person around you that was using you and you, you're finally tired of it and you've cut the rope on that. And that could have been that, that water use that came in here, the page of cups. So, um, you know, be true to yourself and you'll, you'll be happy. Okay. And you know, it's funny. Rejection is spirits protection. It opens us up to realize that, you know what? I didn't belong there. Think about that. You've got flexible. Yes, flexible. I talked about that with the four of pentacles, didn't I? So this is about being teachable and open in mindedness and being adaptable without compromising, you know, what's most important in your life. And in, in, in relationships, in every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time. It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you can meet somebody halfway. And, and, and in the, you know, the prosperity part of your life here, even when you have a clear vision of how you're going to manifest something, what will it look like? who will you share it with and what will then be available to you you still need to relax and open up to other possibilities here okay so and i said that again with this four of pentacles keep your eyes open to new opportunities coming into you and be willing to be flexible and change and go in that direction you can't go wrong not with the not with the king the midas touch king twice and the wheel of fortune as your crowning energy here now what do you need to surrender to the habit of people pleasing. Uh, yeah, speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. And you know what? It might not be everyone else. It could be one person because the, the person that showed up here is this page of water. And I think there's a young energy around you that you've been constantly bending over backwards to please. And at the end of the day, you're going to deplete your energy. You're going to feel resentment and you need to let that go. Okay, let that go. Let go of that feeling of having always to please everybody all the time because you can't. Your final outcome card is beautiful. Success. Do you notice there's nothing else written on it? Just success. So as I said, you know, you have beautiful energy coming in here. Beautiful financial security here. The wheel of fortune saying yes. Uh, you know, karma, karmically and, and universally and divinely, you're being sent this beautiful new energy and an energy of love as well here with the lovers. But you might be struggling, some of you, with a court issue. But at the end of the day, look what you get. It's going to work out. Beautiful. Well, my beautiful Libras, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher self and your higher power want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And my prayers and blessings are that you stay in good well-being, good health, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and I'll see you soon.